Hello friends, welcome to Akiri Talk Show. Let's welcome our today's guest, Mr. Jack Taylor. He is a West Indies domestic cricket. The biggest thing is that the Bollywood has released 83 movies. They have done Sir Vivian Richards ka acting. Kiya hua. Sir, welcome to the show. All right, thank you for having me. Yeah, he is uh, speaking from right from West Indies. So, welcome to the show once again. Thank you. No pleasure. My, pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. Since you are a cricketer, I just wanted to know about your cricketing journey. Um, started probably at age four or five. Um, I grew up in a sporting community in the island of St. Kitts. That's in the West Indies. You know, and the transition between there up until present, yeah. Um, I've played for the national team. Uh, also represented the saying it's Nevis Patriots in the CPL. Play first class cricket for the League of Island Hurricane as well. And currently I'm venturing into coaching as well. Okay. Do you want to recall any special innings that you want to share with us? Um it's quite a few to be honest. Um there was a Stanford tournament, I think it was the first year where we came up against it was saying it's a verse versus Nevis. And that's like a big rivalry around here. Because it's like saying it's a Nevis is one federation. But we yeah. play cricket separately. So that game was pretty intense game. Like we were maybe 26 for six. And it came out to batting a T20 game. And everything just seemed to fall in my favor that day. I got 41. Maybe out of the 110 runs we scored or something like that. You know, at that age, I was probably like 17, 18, and to play that kind of innings of that magnitude, it was superb. That would always be one of my biggest memories of, of cricket so far. So, how did you handle the pressure? Um, my nature is just being calm. Um, I try to block out as much sound as possible and try to stay in my element and just. Do what I do what I know best. Just play cricket, watch the ball, and look to hit the ball into the gaps. Have you played with the current West Indies player? Can you name few? I've played against a few of them. Um, I've played against Nicholas Perran, um, Rapman Powell. Um, I've played with Kyron Powell. I've played with Rakeem Carnwall. I've played with Jama Hamilton. Played against Shamar Brooks. There's quite a few. These guys play in the regional tournament, so they get a chance to be exposed to it. You guys are strong hitters. Yeah, <laughs> most of us. Yes, that's natural. I guess it's just our culture. Now we go playing with that aggressive nature. Because you have got that power, the muscle power that we need in the 2020s. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, let's come to the Bollywood movie, which is a very special for all of us. Uh, we all have witnessed your acting because it's very difficult to copy the style of Sir Vivian Richards. So, can you please tell us, can you please tell us about this movie? Means, how did they approach, how did they contact you? How did they came to know about you? Um, so there was an agency that came from the UK. They were looking at uh, particular fits for, especially for the West Indies players. Yeah, they weren't finding it in the, the UK, so they had to venture into the Caribbean. So they ventured to maybe all the Caribbean territories. And when they stopped in saying it, I was actually playing a game when the agent came about. So after the game, he then spoke with my club to really put the offer on hand. You know, initially I wasn't going to do it. I was a bit tired from the game. Just wanted to go home. But the club manager um, enticed me to do it as well as the agent. So I went into the casting. It didn't last for maybe 10 minutes in various shots. And they were looking at your, your character as much as possible. So in 2019, February, I got a call saying I was shortlisted. 
with two other guys, you know, and they asked me if I would be interested in doing a movie. I said, sure, why not? It's cricket. I'm passionate about that. So a few weeks later, I got a call saying I need to come to the UK to meet the director. Um, so I left saying it's on the Wednesday, reached the UK the Thursday. So I had the Thursday afternoon to rest the Friday, went to Lords for like actual tryouts and stuff like that. Which you know, met a couple other guys trying out for other roles. A hectic bit, a hectic day. So when the director came that day, we sat he sat sat me down and explained what needs to be done. You know, I had to go to some and just on that day. You know, um, got special attention from Sandu. Credit to Sandu. Um, he worked tirelessly with me to ensure that I got most of the cricketing shots down back, especially the one that hit, when he's hitting across the line. I think that was the money shot for Bib. Um, so I had to do endless work uh, replicating that shot. How difficult it was to copy the style? It was the way he talked, um, the way he bat. I think the mannerisms were similarly identical. Um, it's just a, a Caribbean culture, a Caribbean view, to be honest. You know, so I had that. But the cricketing stroke, especially hitting across one, it took me a bit to get accustomed to it. It's not my natural thing to hit across the line. Like, you're basically hitting your front pad when I started. It took me time to get it working, but after I got back from the UK, I came home and I put in an hour's work just to perfect that shot. Because I had all the other attributes, the cuts, the pulls, down low, but the money shot, I had to nail. Great, great. So, uh, before this movie, did you act any movie or any ad? I have never done any, you know, anything like that. Um, it, just was, um, it just was fortunate that I have that kind of charisma. I'm a bit quiet, yes, but you put me in I'm going to and do it to my best of my ability. So I actually had to study footages and stuff like that to see what he's about. I actually went to an event where he was a lot and you could see the courage, the, the passion in his voice. Still. You know, he's well known around the world at this day and age. He's well respected among many in the world. So did you get any message from Sir Vip Richards? Um, I haven't received any messages. I've met him before because he's a part of um, where I live, per se. We represented the same territory, Leeward Islands cricket. So he, he has came to give um, to the teams and stuff like that, motivation speeches and stuff like that. So I've been, I've, I've been accustomed to him, to be honest. Nice guy. Yeah, very, very respectable guy and inspiration to all of us. Uh, yeah, say that. Yeah, exactly. So, did you want to say something? Uh, means uh, the Kabir Khan, the director of this uh, movie, had he said anything, anything, any suggestion you want to say? Is before casting you, he, you have to do this, you have to do that. Um, I think the only thing he said to me actually is just put on five pounds of muscle, to be honest. I think he actually had the facial looks and oh yeah, I had to grow my hair. That's basically the things he told me. But I think a lot of credit goes to Sandu. He was encouraging just be king, be king of the arena. So I was appreciative of that. So do you want to recall any funny stories during the shooting of this movie? Um, was, um, I think I wouldn't call it much of a funny story, but um, on set, the West Indies guys used to do like sit ups and push ups between takes, pass the time, and keep us going. So, we actually got the production house and the whole cast in um, background started doing push ups and sit ups during takes and stuff like that. Even Kabir joined in and he, he really loved that, you know. But the 
actors here, they were quite helpful as well too, quite supportive. I mean, they dialogued with us pretty much, you know, teaching us a few Hindi words here and there. Um, Sahil, he's a fun guy, as, as well as Sakib. Yeah, I really enjoy those guys' company, you know. They were all in all, it was a, a good pleasure, pleasure to be around. Absolutely. Uh, did you learn any Hindi? During this just, a few, just a few basic words like cello, I mean, that's let's go, yes. uh, that's water, uh, what else? A few more that I can bring to the top of my head right now, but yeah, they, it's like, did uh, it's, it's like thoda thoda Hindi, little, little Hindi. Little, yeah. <laughs> uh, Anything you want to say about this movie? Any special moment you want to share? Um, it's just the history on a whole. Um, it's uh, something that you, you need to be told within India and within the cricketing community, to be honest. Um, I think that really set the tone for cricket to come years after in terms of financial gains, to be honest. You know, it really the bar high and Indian cricket started getting recognition so that was good you know you don't want to be in a competition where one team is always dominating you know, it makes it quite too easy you know so you're always looking at the competitive edge to keep pushing you to get better do you watch any Bollywood movies I've watched one to be honest um, I think it's called Dangle I don't know if you know that yeah, yeah, when his, when, yeah, when his father was a wrestler and he got two and he encouraged them to get into the field and they actually did well. So it was an inspiring story to be honest. I really enjoyed that. Anything you want to say, the lead role player, uh, Mr. Ranveer Singh, who played the role of Kapil Dev? Um, I think he did an outstanding job to be honest. Um, I know he put in some hard work to get into cricket, replicating his actions and stuff like that. Um, he's a, could be an intense guy, but he's all for the best. You know, he wants perfection, like that. But he's pretty down to earth, to be honest. He he mingled with the fellas. He shared a few laughs and stuff like that. We very the respect what he, does, he did in the movie, yeah, to be honest. Do you want to act any upcoming movies you want to plan? If the opportunity arises and it suits my fit, yeah, I'll definitely take on you know, even doing commercials and stuff like that, modeling, you know. The world is endless possibilities, you know. And uh, the last question would be, what are your future plans? What do you want to do? I am actually want to get into coaching deeply. I think it's lacking within my area as well too. Where not enough youngsters getting into it and the older guys are tend uh, fading out slowly. So the repertoire to continue bringing forth the cricket towards the, the younger generation. I mean, cricket is a passionate thing around here in the Caribbean, bigger in India, but it's a, a sport that people love around here. People want to do well. That's good, that's good. Uh, well, now we just want to conclude this session and wish you all the best for your all upcoming assignments. And we want you to do good for your uh, country, I mean, West Indies. As you have said, they want to play the role as a coach. So once again, wish you all the best. And it was nice talking to you. Thanks for coming to the show. दोस्तों आज का कंटेंट मैं यही खत्म करना चाहूंगा आगे आने वाले समय में ऐसे ही कंटेंट्स आपके सामने लेके आऊंगा बट डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बटन लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू स्टे ट्यून फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोस थैंक यू थैंक यू अप्रिशिएट इट मैन या थैंक यू